This video is only part of an unpaid, unbiased, in-depth review from an average rider's perspective, so check out the rest in the link below at thegoodride.com. If this video helps, please consider subscribing and buying through our links, or even better, become a member on YouTube or Patreon. You'll get exclusive access to video review shorts as we test gear along with a lot of other perks. So thanks for watching, and I hope this review helps. Welcome to The Good Ride, I'm James Beastie, and here to try on outerwear for you so you might not have to. This is the Quicksilver Utility Bib. It's got an interesting fit. It's really tight right here in this region. This is a size medium. I normally fit a size medium. And you can see how it works for me and my body type and my specs that you see on either side of me. I feel it's just a little tight, but not totally tight. I think it's meant to feel very slim and very form-fitting around here. And then you have this elastic area right here to help with people who are a little thicker. It feels a little tight around my rib cage right here. And it feels about right around my waist, but it's a little on the tight side, and I'm a 32 to 33 inch waist. When it comes to construction, this is a lower price point pant, so you're not gonna expect the world from this, but still, it has a nice smooth outer layer that doesn't feel too porous, so it's gonna shed off outer moisture pretty well. I don't know long-term how well it'll do, but initially, this is gonna be pretty good if you get some wet snow or a few raindrops here and there, it's gonna slide off initially very well. Now, when it comes to pockets, let me see what pockets I can find for you here. There's a very small front pocket that isn't for phones, it's just more for putting something small in there. You have two pockets right here that go down past these, this cargo pocket right here to about right here. And then there's fleece on the outside and taffeta on the inside. And even with stuff in my pockets, there's a pretty decent range of motion, which I forgot to mention in fit, but it fits around here really well. It's just a little tighter up here. You've got two interesting back pockets here. Again, it has the same thing here from the Mission Insulated Jacket. They stitch this right here so this flap doesn't come up. It's kind of weird. So it won't come up here, it only comes up on this side. And then you have two small pockets to get into here and they're kind of hard to access because the zippers on this side, that's closed. So I don't really like that at all. Then you have a zip pocket here that I think for most, especially if you're taller in the inseam, it'll sit more in the meaty area of your quad and not come down to me where it's just on the borderline of being not fun to have something hard in there. Then you have kind of a, a flap over this pocket and when in one Velcro, it looks like a button, but it's just Velcro and another little pocket and you have a little thing here for your keys or something else. Now, when it comes to venting, you have two vents down here they're not higher up towards the crotch, so I prefer higher venting and continuous venting like Burton has around the crotch there because that's one of the hottest spots on your body, in your head, and your pits. Those are the three hot spots, so it's nice to vent those areas. And this stops well before your crotch, but I felt air rush out, but more down by my knees as opposed to the hot spot in my crotch. And when it comes to buttons there's just basically one long zip and these buttons are fake there's no real button here so this just zips up all the way up and all the way down and you have a taffeta liner in here and it seems to go throughout but there's the occasional micro fleece here and there there's micro fleece in the butt and none in the knees just in the butt and kind of along the hamstring there. 
So overall, it's kind of a tight pant in some places, like right along your upper body. So it's made for people with thinner upper bodies, but there's lots of room to move in the lower body and it fits really well down here for me personally. It could work for you if you're on a budget and you're looking for a low price point pant and you don't see a lot of wet or rainy weather.